Hi, I'm Marlana, and today's great ideas for learning through play are all about shapes. Twenty-four to thirty-six months is the right time to really focus on teaching your child to name and recognize basic geometric shapes. They're probably not ready to tell you the difference between an octagon and a hexagon, so for now, you want to help them learn circles and squares, triangles and rectangles. All the foundational work they did as babies when they were putting everything in their mouth, or as one-year-olds where they were handling objects, maybe banging them together or stacking them, but really getting the shape of them, well, that laid the groundwork for them at this time to know that a rectangle is a rectangle regardless of how big it is or whether it has its long side up or its short side up. Eventually, your older toddler will be able to identify, name, group, and manipulate all kinds of shapes like when they're doing puzzles. But for now, let's just talk about some ways to make learning shapes fun. First of all, be on the lookout for the shapes that are all around them, everywhere, every day. You can show them circles in their pizza, or you can show them smaller circles in the pepperoni on their pizza, and you could even show them the circles on the wheels of the pizza delivery guy's car. You can show them rectangles in doorways, on dominoes, or on dollar bills. Shapes are everywhere, you just need to help them find them. This is also a good time for you to work with your child on straight lines and curvy lines. So when you're talking about squares, show them how to make a line up and down with their hand or straight across, side to side. If you're looking and talking about triangles, show them how their hand can climb to the top of a triangle mountain and then whee, slide down the other side. Show them how to make a circle in the air with their little hand and arm. Can they make a big circle? Can they make a tiny circle? All of those straight and curvy lines are going to help them when they're ready to write the letters in their name for the first time. You can also help them learn about shapes by making a basic shape form board. So cut out some basic circles or squares and then trace around the outside and then you can let your child match the shapes on their form board. You can also make form boards with items you find around the house, so lids of all sizes for circles or boxes galore for squares. You can even find triangle shapes if you have some play pizza in the toy box. And a nice extension of a basic shape form board is one that uses shadow shapes instead of basic geometric shapes. A shadow shape is just the shape that's left behind when you trace around the outside of an object they can already name. That shadow becomes a symbol for the real item on the paper that it represents. And understanding that symbols represent something else is a big jump learning-wise and someday they're going to learn that letters are symbols that represent the sounds that make up words and that's going to help them learn to read. Finally, you can make shape learning fun with a little song. It goes to the tune of Where is Thumpkin? It goes like this. Where is triangle? Where is triangle? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Here is triangle, here is triangle. You can do it with circles, and you can even do it with squares. Well, whatever you do, I hope that you have fun singing and laughing and learning about shapes with your little one, because they're going to be shaping up into fantastic little learners as you do. Thanks for listening.